what's up you guys welcome back to my channel today's video is a vlog obviously and I wanted to share a little bit about my new series with you guys and Sam and I just went shopping for groceries and a bunch of random stuff so I thought I would show you guys that as well but this new series that I'm starting this is the first one it's called this one's for me and basically the whole series is just like idolizing how my lifestyle has been for the last year or so I would say kind of a change of pace um, how I'm living how I'm eating how I'm being active how I'm doing my life so I'm gonna kind of share that with you guys through this series and I hope you guys are excited and ready for it so yeah welcome to the new series if you guys are excited make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed um, also just want to give a shout out I did hit hit 30,000 subscribers here on YouTube and that is insane to me because I started this about four years ago and had no intentions or knowledge that it was going to grow and become something that has become a massive part of my life and I've made so many new friends and had so many opportunities and I'm just super thankful so thank you guys for being a part of that so let's go ahead and get into the vlog So coming to you from my kitchen, we did just get back from four different places and normally when I'm doing groceries, I don't, um, can get, I can't get everything in one place. So I go a few different places and my number one place for groceries is Aldi's. And the reason being is that stuff is really inexpensive and you get a lot for what you're paying. So I'm going to kind of show you guys and explain that here in a second. Um, I like to go to Sam's Club, which if you guys don't know what Sam's Club is, it's just like Costco and it's, I think it's just kind of centered here in the Midwest. I could be wrong, but I like that because they a lot of times have bigger amounts of things for cheaper prices. Like I love to go there for vegetables, which I'm gonna show you guys. And I also went to Hy-Vee, which is also here in the Midwest. And there's just a few things there that I can't get other places, like specific health food items. And I also went to Target. So I'm gonna show you guys all the different things and kind of explain why I go to the different places. So let's start here. So this is my little bit of Aldi's haul. This isn't like superfood essentials. I mean, I got a lot of produce, obviously, and this is mainly where I get my produce. This is my Aldi's receipt. I spent $25.33, and you can kind of see like how much the items are. As you're looking, they are all like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. I think the most I spent was $3.29 on lemons. Um, super inexpensive. So the strawberries were literally like a dollar twenty-nine. So I got two of those. If you go to Hy-Vee, they're literally three ninety-nine a piece. Um, that's insane to me. As well as at Target, I don't. I can't like spend over on produce when I know that it's this price at Aldi. So got some strawberries. This is actually some of the ingredients in here are for a pasta salad that I'm going to make, but this is queso fresco. I'm going to um, cube it up and put it in a taco or, or a pasta salad, which I am going to show you guys that recipe in this video. Some jalapenos. These were like 69 cents, 329 limes. I went to Hy-Vee before I went to Aldi's and for one lime it was 99 cents. I went to Aldi's and for the bag of limes it was 2.29. So that's insane to me. I literally got um 8 for the price of what, you know, two would have been. So I got two bags of those, some green onions for the uh ta or pasta salad, some blackberries. These were about like $1.29, so I grabbed those. Some mushrooms for cooking, cilantro for the salad, and then the blueberries were a dollar dollar 79, and that's a really big thing of blueberries. So they had a limit of only two, but I went with it. And then I got some corn and black beans for the pasta salad that I'm going to make. So that is all these. I normally get all of my essentials here just because of the low pricing. It makes it easy to eat healthy. It makes it easy to pick the good options. So I absolutely love all these. Then kind of going off topic, just to show you, cause you guys do ask me a lot. Um, what I do for makeup and stuff. So I went to Target and I'm just gonna show you guys these. Target is the place you go where you buy things you don't need. And so I found these in the dollar section right when I walked in. They just say established in, I think it says 1984. And it's just this cute thing and I might put it up on my new shelf over there and I also have some decorating to do in my room. So I got two of those, $3 each. And then for makeup, this is one of my favorite foundations. I, I haven't been using it for a while but I'm getting back into it. It's the Wet n Wild. Um, photo focus foundation. I got the color bronze beige um, just because my skin's tanner in the summer. 
some mascara. This is actually my favorite mascara for my lower lashes. You guys know I have extensions, but I love this mascara for the bottom, and I used it for my top lashes before I had extensions in February. Um, just a new blush brush from e.l.f. I don't, I'm not super picky on brushes like I used to be, um, just because I don't really care that much. And then I got this liner. This is my favorite liner. I've been using this since I was a freshman in high school. This is the L'Oreal Linear Intense um, Carbon Black Liner. It glides right on. It's my favorite. And then this is my favorite face primer, the Magic Lumi from L'Oreal. So that is Target. And then Sam got a loofah. Then we went to Hy-Vee, and whenever I go to Hy-Vee, I have to brace myself because I feel like I'm going to spend so much more money there because they have amazing stuff. Uh, we got these chicken grillers to grill tonight for dinner. Um, they're the Cowboy Chicken Griller Burgers. My mom has like raved about these to me for a couple weeks, so I went ahead and grabbed those. They have like chunks of spinach and chicken, which or chicken and cheese in them, which I'll show you guys these later. And then tzatziki, Sam and I absolutely love this. He's kind of with, like really into Greek food so he kind of got me hooked on this last summer and so we went to go get the big one at Sam's and they didn't have it so we got it at Heidi just the small one but I'm gonna go back later to Sam's for the big one and then I love these and I do need to go to Hy-Vee or Target or Walmart to get these. You can't really get these anywhere else. It's the Green Giant um, Riced Veggies. I love them. So I just got the Cauliflower with Lemon and Garlic one and Cauliflower Medley. They're super low cal and I super filling and delicious to mix with protein. I uh, got some Diet Ginger Beer. Haven't had this kind before. Um, I'm excited to try it because I really like the normal ginger beer in this brand. So got these. These have like nine carbs, 36 calories per each one, which is fine with me, but I love Moscow Mules, so I like to go low-cal if I can on them just because I could drink like seven, so. All right, this little pile here is from Sam's Club. I am a huge fan of cherry tomatoes on the vine. They need to be on the vine. They're so much better than just regular grape tomatoes. So I love farmer's markets, but I haven't had the chance to get to one yet this year, so I went ahead and picked these up. Um, organic carrots. This was super cheap too. I spent $25 on all of these things right here too and it's a good deal to me because of the amount you're getting. I think this was like six bucks. This was like $3.98 or something and this is a huge bag of carrots. Um, obsessed with Stacy's pita chips. If you have never had these, I highly recommend them. They aren't too bad nutrition wise and they're super good. Got a bag of asparagus and a big bag of broccoli. So good deal for all of these things so that's kind of the little bit of groceries here so like I said I do kind of go a few different places for groceries and just kind of get what my heart desires I'm not the girl who just goes and gets um, a bunch of random stuff every time I go that's not really how I roll I kind of go and get the same types of things and that right there that haul right there is not all my essentials I kind of have some stuff like we have chicken grilled I have yogurt I have cottage cheese um, have some fruits but not everything that I would want so I just kind of go and pick up the things that I need but today I actually decided and because it's summer and I have more time I've been working on making you know cooking doing different recipes so I'm gonna make a pasta salad so that is kind of what I've been doing lately for groceries <music> Self-control. I keep telling myself, but I don't wanna let you know. Is this what we become? Strangers on the run, looking yeah. for something, chasing the sun. All those days trying to find a place. A place we all make them just be alone. So before I show you guys like dinner and kind of continue on with the vlog and just this mini beginning to the series I just kind of want to explain why I named it what I did and kind of what I want it to encompass and Represent throughout the summer as I continue to make videos on it 
So obviously for the last year, I have changed a lot. You guys have followed me for my whole journey. You know that my life has changed multiple times. You know, I've been through different stages, different dieting stages, different um, goal stages, lots of different, different spots in life. And I have been kind of struggling lately with mindset as in, accepting the way things are now and just kind of embracing it because I feel like we live in a world where people are constantly judging each other uh, people are constantly trying to either diet or fat loss or compete or just constantly trying to make themselves like in my mind it just seems smaller or skinnier or to fit a certain goals picture and I just have been so not about it lately and so I want this series to kind of show you guys where I'm at and maybe you can relate to it as in I am in a spot where I'm focused on such a holistic view which holistic means you know mentally physically spiritually like just being happy and I want people to know that it's okay if you're not dieting, it's okay if you're not, you know, competing or prepping or working out for a specific reason, if you're just doing things because you're happy with where you are in life and that's kind of what I've been feeling. I don't want to live up to goals, I don't feel like I need a six pack, you know, I I like to drink beer, I like to drink water, I like to eat lots of veggies, and I like pizza and burgers and fries, you know, not burgers. But I really just kind of want to share that with you guys and share that message and be the, be a role model in a sense because I feel like a lot of girls kind of hide behind um, social media and sit and scroll through and just see all of these girls who are, you know, built a certain way or doing something that they aren't you know their body's not capable of doing and I want girls to feel like themselves and embrace what you have and I guess sorry that's kind of a ramble but basically I just kind of want to share where I'm at and how happy I am just living honestly and so that is why this is called this one's for me because I have been so many different places and just been in so many different mindsets and I really have been all about myself and focusing on my internal happiness and it has just been an amazing journey an amazing experience and I want to continue that with you guys because I'm still finding that I'm still learning about myself every day I graduate in six months and will become a nurse and real world so I really am excited to share the journey with you guys and I hope that you guys enjoy this series I hope that I can teach you something maybe relate just understanding that it's okay to just live life. It's okay to not be so obsessive with society and what society says and goals and weight loss and you know, we weren't built to diet. You know, we weren't we weren't put on this earth to diet and freaking always be in a fat loss stage and I want to share that with girls who maybe feel the same and if you don't, if you completely disagree with this, um, that's perfectly fine. This is where I'm at and I'm excited to share this with you guys. This one's for me. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down all around this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. Change. 
So if you've never made a mafia mule before, you know how now. I have liked them for quite a while, but like I said, I don't like to always, like if I'm making them at home, why not use diet ginger beer, you know, like it's a Sunday, like why not use it? Um, so yeah, this is the brand, the Ceranic brand. Um, Sam used to work at a bar and that's the brand they use just for like regular uh, ginger beer and that's what my mom uses and it's really, really good. So they taste really good. I can't tell the difference between a diet one versus a regular one, so you're saving like a lot of calories. Not that it's a huge deal, but you can save it. All right guys, this is the finished product. This is the chicken griller that we got at Hy-Vee. Um, I topped it with tzatziki and arugula, and then those are the tomatoes off the vine. This is the um, Mexican corn salad that I made, and then just some cut up fruit. So uh, I also topped the salad with avocado. Obviously you do that as you eat it. You don't wanna just put a bunch of avocado in there because it'll get gross. So. Yeah, we're gonna hang out and eat this.